Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is just going to be a really quick um, tool, I guess, kind of video. Um, I was asked what these tools were that I was using to tear paper. These are deco edge, or you know, I guess you would just call them all deco edge. I don't. I looked the name of them up, and I honestly can't remember. Shush, what the um, what the name was on Amazon whenever I looked them up to link them. Oh, tear, tear guides, I guess is what they're called. And they each have a different kind of edge. To a big wavy, little wavy, very pointy, kind of toothy, a real sharp deco edge, and then this fine deco edge. Um, and, oh, sorry, I have to have my phone, or my, yeah, my phone plugged in here, and I keep bumping it. But basically what they do, you just lay them down, tear your paper, and it gives you that real pretty edge. Well... When comparing them, when I was asked, because I was asked from um, a friend in the UK, and of course I only have the links for us in the States, and for here they were $17.99 for three pieces of plastic, which is kind of expensive in its own right, and for them it was $25.99, I think it was. Um, again, that, that's $8 for, more than $8 for one piece of plastic. That's just insane. Um, and I know things are only going to get worse as things go on, but, um, so I pulled out my plastic ruler that I use all the time. Now, of course, I don't work in metric, um, unless I have to. I mean, I can if I have to, but, um, we use the Imperial system, obviously. So, Andrew pulled out his, um, you said diamond edge mm -hmm. files. I mean, I think you could use any kind of file at all. Um, anything that you can get in there and make yourself some edges with and it seems to be working really well so we're going to go along here and we're just going to make us some edges so if I can do this and, and I have hand strength issues um, I think anybody could so that's given us that little bit of a see it there or not there's a little bit of a toothy edge and then we'll lay that down and yep there we go we're getting our we're getting our torn edge um so i'm gonna pause the camera and i think i told andrew i think i'll let him take out his frustrations on it and um, go ahead and finish this side and then i'll even have an extra one handy um that'll give me a different edge than the, the ones i already have so yep we will catch you back here in a minute Okay, so all done. Look at that pretty edge. So, yep, just that simple. Lay it down and tear it and get that pretty edge for just a little bit of work. And if you use the straight side of a roller to do that, well, until so you pull it out, but there's your two different, two different edges. So much cheaper just to use a little tool and it's not sharp um no, I, would, I ran the ruler the file down the edge of the ruler to try to knock off any sharp creases yeah i don't know if that picked up or not he said he ran the file down the edges here to get off any sharp pieces but nope perfectly good tearing tool now and get those real pretty deckled edge for something you probably already have in your stash and um, I'm sure you can find something that will eat into the plastic to make some grooves. Um, Anything like a, even a little Dremel laying around. Yeah, a little, little Dremel, maybe even a nail file. Yeah. A metal nail file might go through depending on how hard your plastic is. But there you go, guys. Real quick, simple um, DIY tool. And not pay $8 for one piece of plastic. So hopefully that helps um, if you need a new tool or, you know, something to help tear your paper. All right, guys, please take care and stay safe, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.